Hi everyone. Today we're going to be talking about the three questions that you can ask yourself to help clarify your brand. So in real estate, it's really important that you understand that you are a personal brand, meaning that people want to work with you because of who you are. So when you go to listing appointments or you're meeting with potential clients online in some capacity, they are looking to connect with you. They are looking to see if you are the right fit to work together. And that means that in order to have a successful real estate career, you need to start working on creating a personal brand. And when I say successful, I mean one that you actually love. You can be successful and actually hate what you do, but I don't consider that success. So when I say successful, I mean a business that you've grown and that you love and that you understand the core values of. So without further ado, let's jump into the three questions that you should ask yourself in order to help clarify your brand and create that personal brand that will then create connection with your potential clients. Number one is what do I value? So this is such an important question. And I say, I often say to clients, if you don't have values, you don't have a brand because your values are pretty much your brand. So when you think about the biggest companies that you follow, think about their values. And I'm sure that you know some of them. Um, because they're probably the reasons why you shop with them or you buy their products or use their services. It's because they have strong values. You understand who they are, what they stand for, and you connect with it. And that enables you to want to buy their product or use their service. So ask yourself, what do I value? Now, here's the really cool part. When you're a realtor, you can actually have fun with this because as a personal brand, you can bring in your own personal values into your business, which is so much fun. It's so much better than trying to create a persona for your business, which you can absolutely do. You can use business values if you want, like um, integrity and all that stuff. But I usually call those platitudes and I'm like, well, yeah, everybody's saying that everybody says that they have integrity. So let's dive a little deeper and really ask yourself what you value and some great tricks for that, or just to ask yourself what makes you angry. What do you like to stand up for? What causes do you support? Um, everybody has values. Sometimes it's really hard to pinpoint. I know for me, it was very difficult when I did this exercise to understand what it was that I truly valued, but Hey, it helped me in my personal life tremendously because then I got clear on the things that matter most to me. So some examples of personal values are for me, they are self growth and advancement and becoming a better person. I'm constantly reading self-help books. I'm constantly on the lookout for how do I do this better? How do I become better? And in doing so, it makes me want to grow and evolve and help others do the same. So that leads me to another value, which is generosity and adding value and being a motivator for my audience. That's really what lights me up. So number one, ask yourself, what do I value? And it could be family. It could be um, equality. It could be women's rights. It could be uh, supporting small business. Whatever it is that you feel passionate about, that makes you angry, that you you debate about with friends, that you know you just want to stand up and fight for. Those are things that you value, and you can add them to um, creating a more um, well-rounded personal brand. <laughs> so let's move on to number two. What are my brand goals? So when you ask yourself this question, ask yourself what it is that you truly want in your business. Now I know as a realtor, a lot of you are going to be thinking right off the bat, I want money and I want clients and I want to sell lots of houses. <laughs> but when you, when you think on the surface like that, it's really hard to build a strong personal brand. So I want to, I want you to push yourself a little bit further and ask yourself what you want for your brand. What are your brand goals? Is it to build awareness around one of your values, perhaps? Is it to build connection and lifelong friendships? What are your brand goals? For me, I want to empower realtors to create strong personal brands. I want you to understand how important it is for your business to create a strong personal brand. I want to give you the tools that you need to create that strong personal brand. And I want you to be excited to do that. I want to show you how exciting it is to do that. Those are my brand goals. Those are what, those are the things that light me up for my company. So what lights you up? What kinds of things do you want your brand to be known for? Which leads us to question number three, how do I want my clients to think of me? I 
love, love, love this question because it gets to the heart of what your business is all about. And I love doing the exercise where you ask yourself if you were in a room with five of your past clients and they were all drinking cocktails and you were just kind of like a fly on the wall, um, what would you want to overhear when they talk, when the subject turns to you? Like really, what, what would you want them to hear? Now, oftentimes when I do this exercise with realtors, they're, they, they fall back on um, what they think is expected of them. So for example, I want my clients to think that I'm full of integrity and that I am a great negotiator and that, you know, it's, it's, it's what you think that the industry is calling for. But if you really are honest with yourself and know that you're not sharing this answer with anyone else, what kinds of things would you really, really want them to say? And it's okay to let your ego come in here because that's how you can have the most fun with it. And if I'm being totally honest with you, if I were to do this exercise, I would want people in that room to say, oh my gosh, I love Melanie's templates. Fourth Street Creative is the best. They make the best templates. They're so stylish and you know, modern and whatever, like so, so many good adjectives there. And I love her dog, Chewy. He's so cute. And I think that she's so relatable and down to earth and she doesn't, she adds so much value to my life. And she's made me realize how important it is to be a, a personal brand. I want those kind of things to come out of their mouths. And do you see how like it's hard, it's for, for a lot of people, it can be hard to be that honest because it sounds like, I'm asking for a lot of kudos <laughs> for myself, right? But when you're honest about this, when you're really honest, you can get to the core of what really matters to you. In my answer, what you heard was somebody who was super excited about helping people. I, I want people, I want realtors to know that they can come to me for guidance. I want them to feel excited by that. And so right there in that answer, I have one of my brand values. I have something that I can build my brand on. And this is why that exercise is so important because when you ask yourself, how do I want my clients to think of me? You get to the root, the heart of your business and your brand. And that is how you build that really strong connection with people. That is how you get people to come knocking on your door saying, hey, I would love to work with you, you know? So those are the three questions. Um, please, Take your time with them. Sometimes it takes a while for these things to come in uh, and just have fun with it and know that you are never boxed into one value. You're never boxed into one goal or one perception that you want your clients to have of you. You can have a lot of fun with this exercise. And until next time, happy designing friends.